hello hello guys i hope you are doing well and today i want to show you how to use if s function and now we are going to use this f s function to assign to assign letter grades to assign letter grades you see maybe uh you are familiar of grades where we have just a range of marks a range of score range of different things that you are adding and you just want to be uh, you just want to categorize them in the letters and let's suppose maybe uh, these are scores this is paper one paper two paper three paper four paper five and maybe we want to use the range to choose a different range and suppose we just want to have this range maybe uh, 90 to 100 we just want to assign letter a plus just want to put a plus maybe uh, 80 up to 90 and uh, 90 you just want to put a not only a and here uh, 70 between 17 this range uh, to 80 just want to put uh, maybe uh, B and also just want to put um, yeah from 60 up to 70 just want to put C C letter grade and yeah between 50 to 60 and 60 just want to put it D d letter grade and now here it's um uh, you see we have now below 50 below 50 i say below 50 below 50 or else just want to put fail let's put a fail it is f to do it in Microsoft Excel how can you put grades letter grades uh, uh, to different people according to the range that you have set here we have maxes here we have names of students or names of uh, people that have, have done exam maybe it is a job exam and you just want to put grades you just want to tutorize percentage grade and you just want to put position who is the first yeah let me just go to total you see i just want to total here we have paper one paper two let's suppose all paper here are over 100 per each paper 100 score and here we have one to five it means you have five 500 500 score here you have 500 and let me tutorize here I just have to use some function you know it I've seen it in the previous videos some function just equal sign some I've opened parenthesis I select from here to here and I close parenthesis I hit enter yeah this is the total score this is the total score of this uh, this first uh, first person and I copy the formula by scrolling down I just copy I just put my cursor here and scroll down to copy the formula and I get the total to everyone and now I'm just going to calculate the percentage how to calculate the percentage you can just even use a average you can just use a average to see the average score but let me use percentage and as you do arithmetic, arithmetically, you just to take the the obtained marks, the obtained score times 100 over the max score. Let me do it. Equal sign. I just put equal sign. And then I have the max here. It's better to use the reference instead of typing. I just uh, select here times. On my keyboard I use asterisk and just uh, to multiply multiply 100 and divide by 
500 to get the percentage. Here you have 62.4%. Uh, percent. Yeah, let me uh, copy the formula down. You see now I have the formula. I have copied the formula and this is the percentage. Yeah, this is the percentage. And down and here next column you see you have grade. I have grade. How to put the grades? You have just to put a grade down here, you see. You can see. You can see how I put the grades. You can see it. Yeah, now you can see it. Between 90, here are all the grades. 90 to 100, A plus. 80 to 90, A. 70 to 80, B. And up to below 50, which is fail. And this is the ranges that we're going to use. And just to do the grades here. And to put the grades, we're going to do use the function if s function to put the grade you can even use if uh, if as a logical test you can even use if if or you can even also use if s and let's see how to use this if if s which is a new function that is found in microsoft office 365 and office 2019 you can just use it yeah let me just type equal equal sign if s if s you have it here you see and i open parenthesis and this if s can just work with different logical tests up to 127 27 logical test and let me just uh, start using this logic you see now I have grid I'm going to use this I4 as uh, the column I4, the cell I4, as a reference. I'm just going to use it as a reference. Let's suppose once our I4 is greater than, once I4 is greater than, greater than or equal to 90, it means it is from 90 to 100. If it is greater than, all equal to 90 what shall i say comma what is the response i put uh put the quote i just want to the excel to put a a plus and i close quote i hope you get it i put a comma i'm going to go to the next logic if i4 let me type it i can even type it i4 is it greater than or equal to 80? What will be the the result? I just want put to put. Uh, I just want Excel to put A. Just want Excel to put A. And I go on and on. Put uh, different logic. And there, if uh, my I4, the cell I4, is greater than or equal or equal to 70 i just want excel to put i put the comma i just i put the quote i just want excel to put b b letter grade and comma you can even have more more logical test if my i4 my i4 is greater than or equal equal to 60 60 percent camera i put the code i just want the the excel to put to put a letter a letter c i close the code and camera i4 i4 once it's greater than or equal to 50 I put the code, comma, and I put the code. What do I want Excel to do? I just want Excel to put to put D. D letter grade. 
and I put a comma. Now I four again. Now I'm just uh, I'm now here. You see, I'm now here to fifty. Now what will be what will happen to below fifty? I'm no longer going to put uh, greater than or equal. I'll put rest. You can just uh, think of what to write. It is somehow logical. Now what what will happen if I four myself is less than fifty? I just want Excel to put fail. I put the quote. I put F. You can put F. You can also you can even type fail. Let me put F. I close my quote and I cross parentheses. I hope you got it and hit enter. You see my my uh my first person here my first person here got C because his uh, his score percentage score you see it is less is greater than is between 60 is between 60 and 70 it is 62.4 it is in this range you must have C and let me just scroll down to, to copy the formula I scroll down up to the last student you see and now have C C D A plus here somebody got a plus and a plus is between 90 and 100 and 100 you see here, uh, this one has uh, a plus and any change that we can make any change that we can make will just be automatically uh, just go to grade let me for example put 96 here i change the max and now have b what will happen if i put uh, here 90, 98 let me see we have A and let me put 90 here to see if we, this one will get an A plus. Still, it is A and 89. A plus. Any change that we can make, you see we don't have fail here. Let me maybe put here 0. This one got 0. And here get 12. You see here it is fail. You see now here if you have a very long list you can put a grade if all your students if all people that you just performed in exam you can just put a grade marks and grade score and grade percentage and grade now you can just see who is the first one who is the first one who is going to get the first position the first position and how to do it to put a position here i will just need another function called rank rank function i use rank rank function i use rank function how to use a rank function i just put equal sign i type rank i type rank can see it here You have lank and I just want to refer to what here there is a number you just want to refer to I just want to 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 go with the percentage here it is I4 you can even have a different column if you have different data different columns I4 and I put a comma I put a comma and I put the reference I put the reference. I now in I'm now in cell cell if I4 cell I4 and I want just to compare the person in I4 to the person in I11. That is why we call reference. I'm just going to refer. I'm selecting from me there to here. Even if it is the person in I4, but I just want to compare, I just want to give him a high position, comparing from I4 to, to I11, the people there in those cells. And now what is the remaining thing here is to rock, is to rock this formula, this range. I lock this range. To lock the range, we use dollar sign. 
always use it in different uh, formulas in Excel. We lock here. I'm just going to lock using dollar sign on keyboard. I lock I, I lock for dollar sign, I lock for, and I go there. I lock I, I2, I lock I, and I lock 11. You lock the whole range, and there you just close the parentheses. You can see it. How to use lank? You can see it. Here, get the rank. You just type lank. You click here in the range. Here, the range was the range was I4, and you click on the percentage because you just want to lank them according to the percentage, to the percentage score, and you put a comma, and you select the whole range. You select from the first person to the last one in the sheet. And then after just selecting here, you just put, it means that I select from this one up to there. And after this, what will you do? You will just put a dollar sign. You lock, you lock the rater and even uh, you just later numbers that, that are made, uh, that are making uh, the cell. If it is I4, I lock I and I lock 4. Here you see it is I4, I lock I, I lock 4, and there on the other side I lock I, I lock I, and I lock 11, and I close parenthesis, and then I hit enter. Let me hit enter. This one is in number 2, and I scroll down to see. I go down there to see. You see here there is a first one, and here there is, you can see. The second one is, is up there. The third one, I now have all, all ranks. I have all ranks. Yeah, to put them to the order, you can just, you can even sort. You can sort. And you can sort with referring to this, to this forum K. Okay? And you, you go from the smallest to the the largest you can even do it i can just select from here up to here and then i go to sort i go to custom sort i go to custom sort and i just want to refer to the uh, column k i go to k and i just want to go from the smallest to the largest i hit ok you see, now I'm just going to go to from first one to the last one. And this is how you just use those functions. Here you see there are different functions that have used it to put the grades to the score. Just now put positions from the first one, the best score to the list to the last one. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and Start applying this in Microsoft Excel to make you just you to make uh, you work very easy. And guys, keep on hitting subscribe button to see more video like this one in the future. Guys, see you next time.